Hello, my name is Jennifer Taub, candidate for Town Council for District 4. Over the past two years, I've had the honor and privilege of serving as Town Councilor for District 3, endeavoring to work in the best interests of our town as a whole and my immediate constituency. As you may or may not be aware, following the 2020 U.S. Census, voting districts were redrawn and half of the old District 3, which I represent, is now part of the new District 4. So although some of you may not yet know me personally, I am running for re-election. Twelve years ago, when my husband and I moved to Amherst, we chose to live ecologically in an older home on a small lot within walking distance to the university and downtown. What we didn't bargain for is that our beloved neighborhood would be under constant stress, targeted for overdensification to help solve UMass's on-campus housing shortage. The newly redrawn District 4 contains only two general residents, or RG, zoning districts in town. In contrast to many of our other residential areas, these RGs are already zoned for greater density and variety of housing stock. Yet throughout my time on the council, there have been repeated calls to amend our zoning bylaws to allow for even greater density and less green space in the general residence neighborhoods. To increase the number of units allowed per acre beyond the current nine, housing up to 36 people would irreparably tip the balance between student and year-round residents, undermining the viability of some neighborhoods for non-student households. For this reason, I've forcefully advocated against rezoning the RG neighborhoods for greater densification. But the challenge of striking a balance is not just an RG problem, but a town-wide one. Over the past seven to eight years, as the town has permitted 862 new units, mostly designed and built for students, we've seen our year-round population continue to decline. Most concerning, since 1990, our population of 25 to 44-year-olds has declined by 45%. The loss of this demographic is reflected in our decreasing K through nine enrollment. I believe our town's changing demographic is a vitally important lens through which town council policies and decisions should be evaluated. We should ask if a particular decision helps to reverse this trend or exacerbate it. While sustaining and expanding our year-round community is a top priority, priority, it's only one of many concerns we need to address. It is imperative that we direct funding to the maintenance and repair of our roads and sidewalks. If re-elected, I will advocate for creating a consortium of smaller towns like Amherst to better position us to compete with larger state projects for road paving services. It is long past time that we replace our sorely outdated Department of Public Works building and fire station. After more than two decades of discussion, we need to make this happen. As a co-sponsor of the proposed waste hauler bylaw, introduced to incentivize trash reduction and provide universal curbside compost pickup, I will work to continue to shepherd this proposal through to adoption. I will also advocate for repurposing no longer used town-owned buildings for a much needed youth center and a new senior center. Sustaining and growing a vibrant downtown that brings residents from all over Amherst and beyond into our town center remains a top priority. As town councilor, I take seriously my responsibility to provide thorough and timely responses to constituent requests. Whether getting a broken streetlight fixed or facilitating a conversation between neighbors and a property management company, I get into the nitty gritty of helping resolve individual residents' issues and concerns. Amherst is a unique and very special place. My ultimate goal is to keep it a town where people want to live and equally important, can afford to. As we build a new elementary school and expand our library, we need to grow and nurture our year-round community, especially families with young children for whom we are building these new facilities. For more information about my work on the council and my goals and vision for Amherst, please visit my website at jenniferfordistrict4.org. Thank you.